Certain people have such charisma and finesse that they can brainwash entire groups to the point that they discard everything they've ever known and believed in. Many people lose sight of the difference between good and evil, right and wrong. Learning about the physical, psychological, and horrific sexual abuse in various infamous cults will send shivers down your spine. Still, something is intriguing about the group think characteristics of cults and how decent innocent people can be sucked into such a destructive mindset. I'm Mike with List25 and here are the 25 most terrifying cults in history. Twenty-five, New Light of God In 2020, a group of lay preachers entered the Panamanian coastal region to evangelize the indigenous Ngabe people. However, their style was more Spanish Inquisition than televangelist. No one expects that. To get the natives to repent their sins, members of the New Light of God cult clubbed, torched, and hacked villagers to death with machetes. Police stormed the area, freeing 14 Ngabe villagers severely beaten, including several women and children. Weapons and caches of money were discovered near an improvised church. Also located there were the gruesome remains of six children, aged 1 to 17, one adult, and the sacrificed corpse of a goat. Ten people were arrested in connection with the crimes. 24. Black Jesus Stephen Tari trained to be a Lutheran pastor before abandoning his studies. He traveled deep into New Guinea's mountains, founded his religion, and proclaimed himself Black Jesus. Despite the controversial use of flower girls, specially chosen teenage girls who served as concubines for Terry and other cult leaders, the cult grew to around 6,000 members. Terry once claimed to have over 400 flower girls just for himself. He and members of his cult raped and murdered 13-year-old Rita Herman, whose mother had given her up to Terry in October 2006. Angry villagers handed him over to the police. He was later found guilty of four counts of rape, but never charged with murder. He escaped prison in 2013. Before long, he murdered a five-year-old girl and attempted to murder a teenager the next day. This time, the villagers decided to take care of Terry themselves. He was castrated and beaten to death before villagers buried him. 23. The Sullivanians in 1957, war veteran Saul B. Newton established the Sullivan Research Institute. He radically rejected Western family values, believing they were the cause of mental illness. Members of the group were forced to stop communicating with their extended families, including their parents, siblings, and even children. Many of the members were instructed to form groups to live together. Monogamy was considered outdated and archaic, so followers were encouraged to date multiple people within the cult structure simultaneously. Newton and his wife also had a say in what professions children could pursue, their pastimes, and how they were raised. Sexual abuse of women and children was common. 22. The Manson Family Charles Manson utilized his helter-skelter ideology to control his largely youthful hippie followers. He predicted a race war in his sermons and promised to protect the Manson family by taking them into the desert to wait out the apocalypse. He also concluded that they were the ones who had the responsibility to initiate the conflict. They're going to wait out the apocalypse that they caused? Perfect. This is one possible explanation for the homicides of actress Sharon Tate, director Roman Polanski's wife, and Rosemary and Leno LaBianca in their home. The plan was to convince people that African Americans carried out the murders. Manson and his followers were charged with nine homicides. Charles Manson died while behind bars in 2017. 21. Synanon Synanon may be one of America's most dangerous cults, but believe it or not, it began as a drug rehabilitation program. Synanon, founded in 1958 by Charles Diedrich, morphed and evolved into an alternative community centered on group truth-telling sessions, dubbed The Game, in the early 1960s. Diedrich grew increasingly hungry for power over time, charging his followers unrealistic high fees and forcing them to perform physical labor. In addition, he created a hit list of those who attempted to shut down his community, including the lawyer Paul Morantz. Synanon was eventually closed down in 1991 due to evidence destruction, tax evasion, and terrorism. 20. Rajneesh Movement 
Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh, the controversial Indian guru, rose to prominence in the late 1960s when he protested against mainstream religion and socialism. His views on a more accepting attitude towards sexuality earned him the moniker, the sex guru. By 1981, Rajneesh had shifted his focus to the U.S., and he established Rajneeshpuram in Wasco County, Oregon, resulting in conflicts with locals. A series of legal battles over the ashram's construction ensued, culminating in a mass food poisoning attack, the first known bioterrorism attack in American history, and an assassination attempt. Rajneesh was deported as a result. He returned to India and recovered, and managed the Pune ashram until he died in 1990. 19. The Russian Teen Satanic Cult In the early 2000s, a group of troubled teens began sacrificing small animals to Satan in the Russian town of Yaroslavl. By June 2008, the cult, led by Nikolai Ogolobyak, had grown to about eight young people, aged 17 to 19. One evening, the teenagers told their parents they were attending a rock concert. However, they were finally acting out one of their longtime fantasies instead. They lured four teens to the woods on the outskirts of town. When they arrived, they forced them to consume alcohol before viciously assaulting them. According to earlier reports, each victim suffered 666 stab wounds. Moreover, the cult cannibalized body parts before throwing them into a pit marked with satanic symbols. About two months later, when the bodies were discovered, only six cult members were charged with murder. 18. Honohana Sampogyo Hogan Fukunawa founded Honohana Sampogyo in Japan, claiming that the world was headed for disaster and that he would be our ultimate savior. Oh boy. He was charging sick and vulnerable members of society, including patients with cancer, for instruction in his cult with the promise of curing them. He also claimed that he could interpret and predict their futures by looking at people's feet. Well, that's just weird. The cult would eventually become known as the Foot Reading Cult, because of course it would, and it had nearly 30,000 followers at its peak. Sadly, almost a billion dollars were stolen from the followers. The leader would ultimately receive a 12-year prison sentence for fraud. 17. Ayum Shinrikyo The Japanese cult Ayum Shinrikyo was responsible for the fatal chemical weapon attack on the Tokyo Metro in the 90s. Shoko Asahara, its leader, was executed. Members believed that the world was ending and that everyone who wasn't a member was going to hell unless they were killed by the cult. Asahara planned the sarin gas attack in an attempt to save the doomed. The group still exists, although under the name Aleph. 16. Angels Landing In the early 2000s, Lou Castro and his followers led an inexplicably lavish lifestyle at the Angels Landing compound in Wichita, Kansas. His followers believed he was a seer, an angel who could predict the future. Unfortunately, this angel was in fact Daniel Perez, a conman who was convicted of rape, child exploitation, fraud, and first-degree murder in February 2015. Expensive life insurance policies were taken out on people in Castro's circle and cashed in by followers when a member of the improvised family accidentally died. Perez was convicted of 28 felonies and sentenced to 80 years in prison in February of 2015. 15. Church of the Lamb of God Ervil LeBaron, dubbed the Mormon Manson by the media, founded the Church of the Lamb of God in Chihuahua, Mexico. Among other things, LeBaron claimed to have received direct instructions from God, including using an abandoned Mormon doctrine known as Blood Atonement, in which sinners could be killed to atone for their sins and evils. Oh, what a deal! LeBaron believed himself to be God's messenger, and made up the rules as he went along regarding women and monogamy. There seems to be a pattern here. LeBaron amassed hundreds of followers over his two-decade reign and had 51 children with 13 wives. His followers allegedly murdered more than 20 people on his orders. Although he died in prison, his reign of terror lasted for several more years as he left a hit list behind for his loyal subjects. 14. Church of Euthanasia Chris Corda founded the Church of Euthanasia in Boston in 1992. A concerned citizen of the world and anti-humanist, Corda's beliefs were extreme, and her cult reflected just that. The anti-people philosophy of the cult is based on one complete instruction, thou shalt not procreate. Corda and her followers believed overpopulation was to blame for the world's problems, including climate change, water scarcity, and species extinction. Population reduction was the only way to solve the world's problems. The cult was at its busiest in the early 1990s. 
Save the planet, kill yourself is their most famous slogan. 13. NXIVM The sex slave cult became famous for its charismatic leader. Self-help aficionado Keith Rainier recruited women into the group using clever marketing. He allegedly branded a symbol representing his initials onto all the pelvises of the women of the group. Women were required to follow near starvation diets and hand over collateral, humiliating and potentially embarrassing documentation like nude photos that would be made public if they revealed the existence of DOS. Allison Mack, well known for her role in the TV show Smallville, became a co-conspirator who recruited women into the organization and even resorted to blackmail. Mack was sentenced to three years in prison after a plea bargain and cooperating with police in their investigation of Rainier. Rainier was convicted on trafficking and conspiracy to use forced labor and ultimately sentenced to 120 years in prison. 12. Russian Underground Islamic Cult Fyzrachman Sautarov was the ruler of a Russian cult of about 70 people who lived in a catacomb, more than a third of whom were children, some of whom had never seen the light of day. His followers believed he was the earthly messenger of Allah and vowed to throw themselves in front of excavators and other heavy machinery if police attempted to demolish their settlement. Security forces accidentally discovered the cult during a random inspection of Muslim communities in the village of Torfanyoy, near Kazan. Security forces accidentally discovered the cult during a random inspection of Muslim communities in the village of Torfyanoi near Kazan. 11. Movement for the Restoration of the Ten Commandments of God Members of the Uganda-based movement for the restoration of the Ten Commandments of God, which rolls right off the tongue, were instructed to strictly obey the Ten Commandments and try to emulate the words of God. They were told that the Virgin Mary and Jesus were constantly watching them. Oh, that's creepy and that they would be cursed if they didn't follow their biblical instructions to the letter. Members believed that this was the only way to avoid the apocalypse. They wouldn't even speak for the fear of breaking the lying commandment. Over 1,000 members of the cult would mysteriously die in a fire, the cause of which is unclear. Some witnesses claim they committed suicide because they expected the Virgin Mary to appear that day. 10. Fundamentalist Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints Speaking of churches that roll right off the tongue, Warren Jeffs, the cult leader, is serving a life sentence in prison for sexually abusing at least two underage girls he regarded as his wives. Many others fled the cult, often losing the only family they knew. Warren told the group's female members that if they rejected him and his sexual advances, God would reject them. Oh, boy. He was said to have 80 wives and 50 children by the time he was arrested. According to recent cult member interviews, Jeffs had control over the lives of all 15,000 members. The children in the group didn't attend school or socialize with anybody from the outside world. When the cult's ranch was raided in 2008, over 400 children were discovered. 9. The True Russian Orthodox Church Members of this Russian doomsday cult hid in the cave for six months, eagerly awaiting the end of the world in the spring of 2008. Pyotr Kuznetsov, the cult's leader, was a self-proclaimed messenger of God who founded the true Russian Orthodox Church. He was not in the cave with his followers when they were uncovered. Followers threatened to commit suicide should they be forced out of the cave. However, some eventually left as melting snow had caused a partial collapse of its roof. Followers believed they would decide who went to heaven or hell after death. Eventually, other followers were forced to leave because of the stench from the bodies of the followers that passed away during the winter. 8. Matamoros Human Sacrifice Cult The Matamoros Human Sacrifice Cult was founded by Adolfo Costanzo, a serial killer in Mexico City. As a teenager, Costanzo worked with a priest who taught him to, oh no, profit from evil. That's eh, not great. He later made a vow with Cariempembe, or the devil. He claimed to have magical abilities that rendered people bulletproof and invisible. Oh no. With these supposed magical capabilities, he had no problem recruiting followers to perform. He enlisted the help of others to carry out the ritual murders. Several rites, including mutilations, are believed to have been organized by him to protect their drug smuggling business. And it all makes sense there. 7. The Children of God The cult, formerly known as Family International, was founded in 1968 by David Berg. He believed Christians should live as simply as possible and follow the teachings of the first century church because all others are counterfeit. 
All female members were expected to seduce and recruit non-member men. The organization's most contentious practice was the sexual abuse of children. Members believed in free love, which Berg defined as sex that could not be confined within relationships or specific ages. Oh. These are all awful. Like, every one of these is terrible. <laughs> Cults are bad. That's <laughs> Mike from List 25 PSA. Six, the Order of the Solar Temple. The Order of the Solar Temple is also known as the International Order of Chivalry Solar Tradition. Ugh, no wonder the other name sticks better. The cult based its doctrine on the ideologies of the Knights Templar, a religious military order that existed during the Crusades. Followers believed that the world would experience the apocalypse in the mid-1990s and that they had to prepare for it by going to a spiritual plane. The cult's founders, Luc Jurette and Joseph de Mambro, were accused of forcing their followers to provide cash and convincing followers to die by burning to secure their place in heaven. The obscure cult hit the headlines when its members were discovered burning to death in France, Switzerland, and Canada. Despite this bad publicity, it actually still exists to this day. 5. Branch Davidians The Waco religious cult is best known for its final deadly end the Waco Siege. Cult followers came to believe that Christ would soon come back to the world and establish his kingdom, and they spent almost every day participating in Bible studies. David Koresh, the group's leader, told members that they were at the compound to learn and serve, not to simply have fun. I don't know many compounds that are known for fun. The end came when the FBI procured a search warrant for the compound because the agency suspected the cult was selling weapons. As a result, a nearly two-month standoff ensued, ending in the compound being stormed by federal agents. The event's accounts are somewhat disputed, but about 80 people were killed, including Koresh and 25 children due to gunshots or fires. 4. The Family The Family, one of Australia's most notorious cults, was founded by Anne Hamilton Byrne, a yoga teacher who thought she was a reincarnation of Jesus Christ. For several years, Hamilton Byrne adopted 28 children that she received as gifts from her followers, intending to create a master race that would survive the impending apocalypse. Other adults in the group were referred to as aunties or uncles, but Hamilton Byrne contended to be the birth mother of all 28 children. She also pretended to be Jesus Christ. If the kids didn't live up to her stringent standards, they were assaulted, deprived of food, or given LSD. Ah, just like Jesus. How did that not set off any alarms? The cult went undetected for years because the children were required to hide anytime visitors arrived. But in 1987, the group's headquarters was raided and all the children were removed. Three, superior universal alignment. Valentina de Andrade, a Brazilian cult leader, founded superior universal alignment. After reportedly receiving extraterrestrial messages from divine cosmic beings, she began preaching her gospel in 1981. One of her widely held beliefs was that babies born after 1981 were evil and had to be slaughtered. Wow, thanks, that's... I feel personally attacked. Thank you so much. To achieve this goal, she rounded up several boys between the ages of 6 and 14 and intended to eradicate them. They would then be tortured, raped, and stabbed to death. And the horrors wouldn't end there. After they died, their bodies would be brutalized, genitals and vital organs removed. Members of the group were suspected of murdering 19 boys, but after an initial arrest, De Andrade escaped by fleeing the country. 2. Heaven's Gate This UFO cult is one of history's most infamous religious cults. The world was shocked in March 1997 when 39 people wearing identical black sweatshirts and sneakers were discovered dead in a house in a San Diego suburb. The intent behind the suicides was to locate an alien spacecraft trailing the oncoming Hale-Bopp comet. The cult thought that their human bodies were holding them back by keeping them on Earth, and that by rejecting their earthly containers, they would be able to progress to the next level. I remember that. I think it was in Nashville when that happened, when news broke. Yep. 1. The People's Temple Agricultural Project slash Jonestown Jim Jones, a self-proclaimed messiah, led the People's Temple Agricultural Project. He and other cult members physically and emotionally abused believers and pressured many to hand their possessions to the church. In 1977, he relocated almost a thousand of his devotees to Jonestown, Guyana, where the living standards were atrocious. 
Jones ordered his followers to drink poison the night after cult members murdered U.S. Congressman Leo Ryan, who had come to investigate conditions at the camp. Many were forced to do so at gunpoint. On November 18th, 1978, over 900 people died from poisoning, one third of whom were young children under the age of 17. So, do you remember any of this? Have you ever been in a cult yourself and somehow got out? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content, including our shorts. Check us out on social media. Check me out on social media. Those links are in the description below. Um, if you can, think of becoming a member so that way you can help support us so that we can keep bringing you this amazing content. Also, join our Discord. We're in there. Uh, I was on kind of a mini vacation this weekend, so I wasn't in there much. But, uh, yeah, we, we talk. We do stuff. We had that shirt game. A lot of my shirts, I try to connect to the topic in one way or another. Some people try to guess. So just come in. Have fun. Uh, anyway, that's it. And uh, thank you guys so much. I love you. And as always, I'll see you next time. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.